Hello students. In the last session, we were studying about the transposable element, right? So we studied that transposable elements are otherwise called as the jumping genes, which jumps from one position to other, either within the chromosome or to the other chromosomes. Whenever it jumps from one place to another, it causes the mutation, chromosomal mutation, and it bring about the gene modification and new varieties of plants. And we studied that this was first discovered by Barbara McClinton in 1940 in the maize plants when she was studying about the genetics of the maize plants, gene expression in the maize plant. She is Barbara McClinton for your reference. Okay. And she was working on the maize plants and for the discovery of the transposable elements she was awarded nobel prize in the year 1983 okay in the field of physiology of medicine though she discovered the transposons in the maze but this transposable element were later seen to be having more importance in the medicinal field because these transposable elements caused various type of genetical disorders so, for this discovery, she was awarded Nobel Prize in the Physiology and Medicine. This is a wild corn, which was a wild bell before, okay, which was purplish or blackish in color. Later, due to the transposable elements and the mutation caused by the transposable elements, the maize color changed, okay change from purple to yellowish in color. Coming on to types of transposable elements. In this session, we are going to study about the types of transposable elements. You know, transposable elements are the jumping genes. It is the DNA which jumps from one position to the other position. The fragment of DNA which is called as the genes which is jumping from the one position to another. Before studying the transposable elements, types of transposable elements, you have to have certain knowledge about the structure of simple transposable element. There are different types of transposable element. They might be simple or complex in nature, but any transposable element is a strand of DNA or a gene which, go, which jumps from one place to other. These have two ends. The ends are having the inverted repeats. It has it is having the gene sequence which is repeated, okay, from uh, at end one end to the other. They are inverted repeats, and they have a small gene which codes for a particular type of enzyme called as transposase. Transposase. Okay particular type of enzyme called as transposase. You know, any transposable element, any gene, okay, which is present on the DNA, if it has to move from its position to the next position or from one chromosome to other chromosome, it has to undergo cut. Okay, it has to cut itself from its position, remove the gene from its position and move to the other position and get inserted into a new position. If all these activity has to take place, there is requirement of certain type of agents which helps in the cutting, removing itself and moving to the new position and getting inserted into a new position. For all these activity to occur, okay, there is a requirement of an enzyme the enzyme which helps in all these activity is the transposase enzyme. So any transposable element has the gene which codes for the enzyme called as transposase. With that, they have two flanking ends. These flanking ends has the inverted repeats. This is a simple structure of transposable element. It is two flanking inverted repeats and the transposase enzyme. Okay, gene coding for the transposes enzyme. With this, there are number of transposable elements based on other genes present. Okay, 
So coming on to the types of transposable element, there are mainly two types of transposable elements. That is DNA based transposable element and RNA based transposable element. Okay, how the gene is going to jump from one position to other or move and insert from one position to other. There are two types of transposable element that is DNA based transposable element and RNA based transposable element. Again, here DNA based transposable element, okay, which is the element which encodes for a protein which moves from, the, it is a DNA which moves from one position to other. Whereas in the RNA based transposable element, it is the DNA which is going to move but through RNA, but through RNA it is going to move. So RNA based transposable element is RNA based transposable element is a DNA which is going to jump from one place to another position but through the RNA. So this RNA based transposable element is otherwise called as the retro transposable element. So and this process involves the enzyme called as retrotranspose or uh, reverse transcriptase. Reverse transcriptase. How? It is the DNA which is going to convert it into RNA. RNA is when it, the RNA will move from its position to the new position and get inserted. During insertion, this RNA will be again converted into DNA. DNA is going to copy into RNA. RNA is going to move from its position to the new position while inserting. The RNA is now going to convert into DNA. See, when RNA is going to convert into DNA, there is a requirement of an enzyme called as reverse transcriptase. This reverse transcriptase enzyme helps in the conversion of RNA into DNA and this DNA will now get inserted into a new position. So this process of the DNA inserting into new position through the RNA is called as retrotransposons. Okay, so uh, now coming on to the methods of transposition, DNA based transposition, there are two methods. That is, the first one is the cut copy mechanism method and the Second process of transposons are transposable element are a copy paste mechanism. How the transposition has to undergo based on this. There are two types cut paste mechanism and copy paste mechanism. If you recall how you work onto the computers. Okay. So if you want to cut a picture, if you if you have a slide and another slide on the first slide you have the picture and the second slide do not have but you have to transfer the picture or you are going to uh, okay, make a picture on the second slide what you are going to do you are going to cut the picture from the first slide and you are going to paste it onto the second slide. So when you cut the picture from the first slide the first slide will not have the picture only the second and when you paste it only the second slide will have the picture. So same way here in transposable elements also in cut paste mechanism okay on a chromosome if it has a gene which is going to jump from one position to another position this gene will cut itself from its original position and when it cuts itself from the original position it is going to leave a gap between the okay original position and then it is going to move to a new position that is the target site where it has to go and join at the target site it is going to open the target site and it is going to insert into the target site okay we'll draw it here so if this is a gene if it is undergoing the cut paste mechanism and this gene is going to cut its or from its original position when it cuts from its original position, it is going to create a gap between the original position. And this gene which has been cut, okay, it is going to move to a new position by getting inserted itself into a new position, right? So, when this gap is present, it is going to get filled either by replication 
or these two ends are going to join together okay and they are going to form a new gene where old gene the original gene is removed by making a gap this is called as cut paste mechanism the second mechanism is a copy paste mechanism what is a copy paste mechanism here the when the chromosome contains the jumping chain that is the transposable element here the gene which is going to jump is not going to okay create any gap between the original position what it is going to do it is all it is going to undergo replication process you know what is replication replication is a process of copying the original gene and producing a new copy of the same gene okay same dna so original dna is present when it undergoes replication it is going to make a copy of the same gene okay similar copy of the same chain but it is going to retain the original gene okay but it is going to exactly produce the same copy of the gene this copy of gene which is produced is going to now jump from one position to another position but the original gene is going to retain in the same position while it retains the same position the new copy will go and attach to the target site so here the original position will not have any gaps or the gene from that position will not be removed the gene will be retained there itself but it is going to copy a new gene and this new gene will go and attach to a target site so the second picture shows you the same thing what is the second picture is showing here is a transposable element which is going to okay insert into a new sequence but how it is going to insert it is not going to remove from its position but it is going to undergo trans uh, that is replication process and produce a new chain and this new chain will go and attach to the target position so it is going to retain its own own position and also occupy a new position so two copies will be present this is called as copy paste mechanism cut paste mechanism is otherwise called as conservative type of transposition and copy paste mechanism is otherwise called as non conservative or replicative type of transposition so dna transposition are of two types conservative type or cut paste mechanism and second type is replicative type which is otherwise called as copy paste mechanism of transposition and coming on to the uh, retro transposons that is rna based rep uh, replication mechanism that is the transposition mechanism here the dna is going to transport it is going to uh, insert it into a the transposon is going to insert it to a new position but while inserting the dna is going to copy into the form of rna through the process called as transcription during the process of transcription the dna will be copied into rna and this rna is going to go to the target position when it goes to the target position instead of inserting the rna here a enzyme comes into a role called as reverse transcriptase with the help of the reverse transcriptase the rna is going to be copied into the dna again so this dna which has been copied from the rna will be similar to that of the dna present at the position original position so this dna is going to get inserted into a new position and cause transposition okay so here it involves a formation of rna here and involves an enzyme called as reverse transcriptase to convert the rna into dna so this type of mechanism is called as retro transposons retro transposons are the jumping chains which copies itself and gets inserted into the new position by the by production of rna and this rna is converted into dna with the help of the enzyme called as reverse transcriptase and this is called as retro transposons okay and this is about the transposable element next session we'll be considering and studying about the transposable element in prokaryotes that is in the bacteria thank you all
if any doubts you can ask me through messaging or whatsapping okay and try to solve the question and in telegram app thank you